Okay, Dr. Mabonzo, we're going to start uh, inviting the, the moderators and the previous speakers. We confirm this assertion. Indeed, we bring evidence that creatine lacks to, to, to cross the blood brain barrier using human brain endothelial cells from CTB patients. The cells were obtained from CTD induced pluripotent stem cells. As you can see in this on this slide, uh, you, you can see um, uh, on blue healthy brain endothelial cells, and on red here the lack of creatine transport uh, transport across the blood brain barrier. Our ambition is to select safe compounds able to cross, able to get to the brain by crossing ever the blood brain barrier or circumventing this barrier using nasal route. This will be made possible by four joint rational strategies. First, innovative patented chemistry. Second, avoid interactions of drug with creatine transporter and release drug into neurons, astrocytes and oligodendrocytes. And third, develop innovative, dedicated and patented formulation for nasal roots. And finally, last but not least, optimize nasal device. We expect by these four joint rational strategies to bypass the brain barriers, blood brain barrier or blood cerebrospinal barrier. We expect by these four joint rational strategies, get the drug to the right place in the brain get enough drug to increase content of creatine in the brain. By so doing, we will achieve therapeutic efficacy. As you probably know, we have selected CBT-101 as a promising drug candidate for the treatment of CTD. This data have been published in Journal of Medicinal Chemistry in 2013. Using fibroblasts from three CTD patients, which exhibit different mutation in creatine transporter, nonsense mutation, deletion, missense mutation, this patient exhibit also different clinical features. We have shown that CBT101 increases creatine in fibroblasts from free CTD patients. No difference in the creatine uptake between the free CTD patients was evidence. This data has been published in nanomedicine in 2013. As a proof of in vivo concept. We have uh, used the creatine deficiency knockout mouse model developed by Skelton's group. This model is very interesting since uh, this model exhibits um, spe special learning and memory defects. This model is enabled to synthesize creatine. What we have shown is that ICV intracerebral ventricular CBT101 administration, one dose level over the course of five days is efficient for a widespread distribution and increase of creatine in the different brain regions. This Tremendous increase of creatine in the different brain region 
is associated by the complex restoration of cognitive function, and you can, as you can see on this slide. These data have been published in Nanometine in 2019. What about the intranasal, with intranasal CBT101 administration? We have shown in the same mouse model, in trinasal CBT101 administration, one dose level over the course of 10 days increases brain creatine levels in cortex, striatum, cerebellum, and hippocampus, as you can see on this slide. Since uh, there is a wealth of evidence that uh, LTP, long-term potentiation, underlies learning and memory functions, we were interested in the expression of LTP biomarkers such as protein synaptic density um, protein, post-synaptic density protein, 95, Queb, and brain-derived neurotrophic factor. We have shown that intranasal CBT101 administration increased tremendously LTP biomarker. By contrast, knockout mice show a significant decrease in the expression of LTP biomarker. This tremendous increase of LTP biomarker after intranasal CBT101 administration is correlated by the improvement of cognitive function in the same mouse model. Indeed, discrimination index increases to 36 percent of the median value of a white type mice, as you can see on this slide. Meaning that CBT101 is efficient for improvement of memory function in this knockout mouse model. We were interested to, in, to compare, to confirm our findings in another, in another mouse model. We have used a new creatine transporter deficiency knockout mouse model developed by Laura Barocelli's group. This model is also very interesting. Uh, this model exhibits cognitive and autistic-like defects. This model shows impairment of memory function loss of GABAergic cell synapses and reduction of hippocampal neurogenesis. We have shown that intranasal CBT101 administration, one dose level over the course of four weeks, starting in mice at postnatal natal day, 25, P25, improve significantly meta memory and short-term memory. Indeed, the percentage time of observing the novel object increases to 96% of the median value of a, water, of a white type mass in the North Test. Using the, the Y-Maze test, the, spont the percentage of spontaneous alternation increases to 86% of the median value of a white type mass, suggesting the efficacy for amelioration of cognitive function mediated by 
CBT101. I would like to share key message, key messages with, with you. First, we have improved the manufacturing of the CBT101. We really improved the, our innovative formulation for nasal administration. Third, using nasal administration of CBT101 in creatine transporter knockout mouse model. Enough drug gets the brain to be effective. And enough drug arrives at the right place to increase brain creatine content. Reaching around 30% of the total amount of creatine brain concentrations allow to reverse or improve cognitive deficit in knockout mice. Reversion or improvement of cognitive functions depend on the age of the animals and duration of the treatment. And we have shown that we could improve the synaptic function. As of today, we have a clear vision to move forward. Additional studies are needed for further development. This is why to, we have created Ceres Brain Therapeutic to move fast to clinical trials. Ceres Brain Therapeutics is directed by Thomas Juvino, Chief Executive Officer, and Ruben Benesh, the Chief Operational Officer, and myself acting as Chief Scientific Officer. Ceres is driven by ambitious clinical impact, decreasing symptoms and improving quality of life, restoring social integration, and ensuring normal family life of siblings. I would like to thank all the people in my lab involved in the CTD research program. And I would like particularly to thank Matthew Skelton and Amanda in Cincinnati Hospital, as well as Laura Barocellis in Italy. I would like to thank uh, our financial support, X Extraordinary um, Organization, and Jerome Lejeune Foundation. Thank you for your attention, and uh, I'm ready for questions. This was great.